I want you to hear this very clearly, so let me repeat this. Everybody who does something different is seen as a loser until they start making money. Hello people, here's another English video for you and this video is for the ones of you who sent me a message about finding your passion and how to find what you love. You know it's so fascinating to me that it is so difficult to understand yourself and to know what you love because your brain and your heart are the first things that you ever own. So what you think and what you love should be the first things you ever know. But it's fascinating that knowing your passion has become so hard and how society and media and people around you have pushed you to a point where your mind is shaped to their definition of wealth, success and happiness. You know what's the saddest thing? The saddest thing is that you believe whatever your parents say and whatever your neighbors say and whatever your relatives say and whatever your friends say and whatever the TV says and whatever the fashion magazine says. You believe everything everybody says but yourself. So let's say you love painting and you love life in the countryside and it's nice and simple and quiet but everybody else persuaded you that it's a loser life and to be able to be considered happy and successful you have to have an office job in the city and you have to have an apartment in the center and you need to look a certain way and you need to speak like everybody else does. My suspect is that a lot of you Deep down inside, you know what you want to do, but you couldn't protect it. You let everybody else shame you into believing that what you love is not worthy. But let me tell you one thing, everything is crap before it starts making money. I want you to hear this very clearly, so let me repeat this. Everybody who does something different is seen as a loser until they start making money. Everyone laughs at a boy who plays video games all day until the day that he starts making serious money at the international gaming tournaments. Then everybody stop laughing. Don't you see it? Everybody who is shaming your passion once had theirs, but they were shaped to give it up. So they are trying to make you give up as well. You know what you want to do. You're just afraid of what everybody else thinks. And I know it's scary. It's scary when it comes to the most important people in your life and they are shaming you. It's the worst when your own parents do not believe in what you do. And if you are in that situation, I highly recommend speaking to them about it. Tell them that you appreciate them worrying about you, but doing and failing and getting up again and learning are all a part of a human's life because they worry about you they don't want you to do something different and get kicked by life flat on the floor but you need to tell your parents that they gave you life now they need to give you the opportunity to live it and you need to show them that you are very dedicated to make it work and let me save you time they're gonna say no most parents will now at this point you need to think about whether you are really passionate about what you call your passion like are you willing to still get a day job that your parents want and come home at night and work on your passion every single night until it starts to make you enough money are you willing to give up leisure time and tv and relaxing to work your butt off on what you call your passion to prove that you can make it let me save you time again most of you won't most of you just want to get a day job that your parents made you do and come back in the evening and spend the rest of your time grabbing beers with your friends and complain about how much you hate your job because you say you love your passion you say you're passionate about your passion but you are not willing to work for it because you don't love it enough because pursuing your passion is not all fun and games because sometimes in order to prove yourself right you have to fight a lot of you seem to think that your passion is just something you liked when you were a kid and it will stay the same and it will never make you 
enough money for you to pursue the lifestyle that you wanted but it's not like that your passion doesn't stay the same so for example i loved writing when i was a kid i used to lie in my bed writing pages and pages of diary i loved writing so much this is the world pre-internet i didn't have the internet okay and so i continued to write until i became a fashion reporter i loved fashion also so I worked and worked as a fashion reporter until I found myself loving marketing very much. And so I started learning about marketing and I started working in marketing. So from a simple writing hobby, it has become a much more complex passion than that. So I love producing content in different forms. You see, I'm speaking to the camera right now. But marketing is what I like, producing content is what I like and my content connects to people which are you guys and that's what i love also so i'm doing what i love so what i'm trying to tell you is that keep working on your passion don't overthink it just keep working on it and dedicate yourself to become better every single day and your passion along with hard work will lead you to the right place and don't even worry about money whatever you do if you are good enough money will come if you really, really do not have a clue what you like doing, it's because you haven't done anything with your life. And now it's time to do. Just keep doing, just keep exploring whatever you feel like doing until you find something that clicks. It's just as simple as that. But most people don't want to do that. Most people just want to relax and spend money and do nothing. Because most people don't want to put in the effort because Finding somebody or something to blame is a lot easier than taking responsibility for yourself. Hey, I hope you like this video. Go ahead, like, share and subscribe because I'll be back with many, many more videos. I'm so sorry because I can't reply to all of you, but I'm so overwhelmed by all your love. I love you guys so much and I can't thank you enough because you are here. So I really hope that you keep staying here with me and sharing this amazing journey with me. Thank you for watching my videos and I hope you have a nice weekend.